Welcome everybody back to another Naruto episode. I'm Carson. I'm Lindsay. This is Naruto episode 52. Ebisu returns. Naruto's toughest training yet. You got introduced to the bracket and you got to hear Lindsay's incredible <laughs> predictions. Eloquently worded. <laughs> predictions for next episode, or for um, the, the next uh, arc, the next tournament. Um, you should go check those out because those are pretty <laughs> funny. And you get to hear some pretty in-depth... In uh, analysis of uh the naruto verse check out last episode we're gonna get right into this one we got uh naruto is going back with ebisu because kakashi just decided to d kick naruto to the curb to focus more on sasuke because he's in serious the right move serious peril but we're gonna see what naruto's training with ebisu is gonna be like and what the story has in store for us moving forward hope you like the video hope you check out last naruto reaction all the all the other ones we got and we hope you enjoy let's get into it naruto episode 52 Something else that's also interesting is it doesn't really even matter who wins. It just matters, like, if they get chosen to be, like, a chunin. Yeah. So, like, that adds, like, maybe Naruto loses immediately, but he still does it or whatever, you know what I mean? Or they see Gara and they're like, this guy shouldn't be a chunin. Some ramen. That's not a hard bar when you just anyway, kick Naruto, one of your students to the curb. The three getting in squad seven, you're the one whose basic skills need the most work. That's what I want you to focus on this time around. Wait, hold on a second. Are you honestly saying that I'm not as good as Sasuke or Sakura? <laughs> Naruto, no matter how many skills you master, all right, Ebisu Sensei, I leave him in your care. I mean, hands. I know they're I saying that Ebisu I... only trains like the elite, such as honorable grandson, but, harsh, but trust me, he wasn't very good. good. Just do your best. Let's get started. <laughs> Fuck you. How about you two? But I don't buy it. This whole thing is totally nuts! Even if I do need to work on my fundamentals, how the heck are they supposed to get better when I've got a teacher who's weaker at this stuff than I am? <laughs> Thank you. But who do you think you're calling weak? Who do you think? Who else is daddy here? <laughs> this is all because of that ridiculous and inappropriate jutsu of yours. It took me by surprise, that's all. Yeah. I wouldn't be too hasty to judge my abilities based on one incident a long time ago. Just as you ended up flat on your back and out cold. <laughs> no, no, no. Try and run away. I mean it. I want you to try running as fast <laughs> as you can. It's really creepy. If you can get away from me, I'll resign as your trainer. Is that a promise? Certainly, and what's more, <laughs> since I know how much you prefer Kakashi, but he can be your trainer. Yeah? Really? Of course. An elite That's a good bet. Never goes back on his word. All do you think he can do it? Being able to outrun me. Man, no? This is the easiest deal I've ever made. So long! <laughs> <laughs> The town is really crazy. Yeah. That's the thing, like, the show has such a unique sense of style. It's, like, really cool to see. Like, all the architecture, all the costumes, everything. Look at that, Naruto's got a coffee filter around his neck. Who even thinks of that? <laughs> what did he do? Control yourself. <laughs> <laughs> there he goes again. Can't keep his eyes off the girl. Just what do you think you're doing? <laughs> Not at all. <laughs> it was a good idea, actually. All right, then. <laughs> Ha <laughs> ha 
Gives up, I guess. If you've had enough, let's begin your He's so yeah, mad. Right. Stick it in your ear. Kakashi is the only one I'll let train me. Either he trains me or no one does. This game is over. Fish Jutsu swims away. <laughs> Rats! Rats! Who said that to Mari? Yeah. <laughs> I want ramen so bad. You mean cat track control? Abilities in this department with those of your teammates. Just be quiet and listen. First, let's examine how Sakura prepares for a clone jutsu. Oh, this is important, actually. She's perfect at building up her chakra to its full extent. She can make clones without wasting any excess energy. Even though she's never done it before. <laughs> done it one time ever. You see, his control over the chakra itself is so flawless that he has no problem producing five clones as easily as Sakura can. So the result is the same, even if Sasuke does waste more chakra in getting there. What do you know? And I'm eating so many noodles. He's already had like three bowls in the time. <laughs> you are no good at building up your chakra or controlling it. The result being, you require much more chakra to produce any clone. What the? You have to exert much more effort, and even then, and after wasting much more chakra than either Sakura or Sasuke, clone jutsu! you can barely produce two clones at best. <sighs> Using the same amount of chakra you use, Sakura and Sasuke could come up with ten clones. So does Naruto just have way more chakra than them, like, naturally? Yes. Kakashi even said it when they were doing the tree training. Mm -hmm. Naruto even has more chakra than he does. Oh, well. And Kakashi. The bottom line is, you waste too much of your strength, Naruto, and build up too Because he can chakra. make, like, 20 clones just, like, make, like all the time, yeah. Well, if I'm such a lame how come there have been times when I've done better than they have? That's not the same thing. That's only because you have reserves of energy and stamina that are hardly even human. <laughs> How can I expect him to have control when he has the nine-tailed fox spirit's chakra sealed within him? Bill, <laughs> I forgot. Okay. Okay. You mind explaining why you crashed <laughs> like me walks like hot springs? Why? Why? Yeah. Yeah. I love how they make him like an idiot to like make him ask to re explain it, but he's also just kind of being a little shit as well. But that's what chakra control is all about, being able to discharge it at a steady or at a varying rate, you understand? Hmm. I wish I did. Well, <laughs> perhaps it would be easier if I just showed you. There, you see? That's how it's done. Cool! Why is he surprised? He already saw Zabuza do that. First, build up chakra in your feet. And Kakashi as well. Calibrating those whatever it is. <laughs> It's really hot. Oh, by the way, don't forget it's a hot spring. <laughs> I can do this. I got it. It's gonna take you a long time, Naruto. 
<laughs> you seem unusually diligent today, Konohawa. Oh. <laughs> another surprise attack against Lord Hokage? <laughs> Anymore. That's astounding. Well, I'm very glad to hear it. So, you understand that the shortcut to becoming Hokage is to do exactly as I say. Well, there aren't any shortcuts here. Huh? Naruto told me that. He said I had to learn that if I ever wanted to be Hokage. Perhaps you were a better teacher to Konohamaru than I was. It seems I was wrong about you, Naruto. There is more within you than a demon spirit. Hmm? There is the heart of a splendid hidden leaf village ninja. Splendid ninja? <laughs> <laughs> Are you peeking in the women's bath, old man? In its reputable behavior! Oh, please! <laughs> <laughs> What's wrong with you? Keep it down. Do you want to get us busted, you idiot? <gasps> Who is this guy? He's an even bigger person than us. <laughs> <laughs> ending gonna carry over to the next opening yes okay. it is i think there might be an opening next a new opening next episode okay I can't tell. maybe the following one after that okay because I, I was like it's a bit late for them to be doing a it's halfway kind of early yeah yeah exactly yeah, like... well there you go so the training has begun uh i like that i like the way that ebisu kind of gets on naruto's level mm -hmm. he's as far as being a teacher he's pretty good at that like Kakashi's well, he's really to good at teaching like a, a literal child. Yeah. yeah. So Kakashi's really good at like sort of encouraging competition and rivalry, and that's how he lets that kind of do a lot of the teaching work for him by like pitting them against each other and rewarding good behavior to those who don't and like punishing those who don't like if you guys don't get the bells, then one of you has to go without lunch. Uh, you know. But then in the last minute it shows up in like lightning and thunder is like teamwork. Yeah. <laughs> he's not he's not really good at like just encouragement. He's mm -hmm. good at like, I don't know, subtly moving behind the scenes or like setting things up. Yeah, because like what during that whole like tree climbing thing, yeah. The reason that Sasuke and Naruto weren't like succeeding is because they didn't like they weren't working as a team to like trade ideas. It was like a competition. And then when Naruto, like, actually asked Sakura how she did it, he was like, finally. Mm -hmm. He's not just fucking around anymore. Yeah, and it, but it's like, you know, but you kind of set it yeah. up to be like that, so. I, but I think that's the point. Like, he sets it up to be a competition. Yeah. And they have to realize for themselves that the way to, to succeed is, like, a balance of both. Yeah, he doesn't try to, like, I think I'm getting a nosebleed. He doesn't try to, like, force things down their throats. He, like, lets them come to conclusions, whereas Ebisu is more like, Obey! Like, stop, stop fucking around and listen, and I'll it's... tell you exactly how shit has to be. Um, it's also a bit different because Kakashi has never taught before. Exactly. And he has a group of three people, whereas Ebisu can do, is used to training a literal, like, five-year-old child. Yeah. And now he's just training Naruto like one on one. He's basically just a five year old child. Basically a five year old child, but is obviously more skilled, so he can actually learn some like pretty cool stuff if he's trying. And Ebisu at the end was even like, Wow, he's already like doing it. Yeah. So Yeah, it's just funny to see their different teaching styles. Yeah, and then at the end we see we have white haired guy. guy come in just looking at the women's bath. Yes. Like a creep. <laughs> Peeping Tom over here. And he's got a weird headband. It says oil on it. Oil. Oil. As far as I'm aware, that's what that kanji says on his headband. It's so he's not really wearing like a leaf village mm -hmm. attire. He's probably so. from someone somewhere else, I think. And maybe he's like his own like thing. Either he's from somewhere where that we haven't seen before, and that's just a different uh, village's headband. Or he has, like, some special, like, rank or job or title in another village. Or he's just decided he wants a different headband 
because maybe he didn't pass any of their exams and get a real one. So he's like, I'm going to wear this headband. Mm. <clears throat> uh, what else happened this episode? Naruto ate a lot of ramen. Oh, that thing about them move. using chakra control. Oh, yeah. Sakura can make clones without even trying. Uses the perfect Except amount of chakra. Except she never does it. <laughs> yeah. They're just trying to illustrate the different levels. It technically makes sense and it kind of works with their character, but it doesn't really seem to work out in practice because she has literally only made two clones ever. And then Sasuke is a little bit better, but still not but perfect. I don't think he's ever made a clone either. I'm sure he's made a clone. I'm sure he's done it. Maybe not. But Naruto's done it like a million yeah. times. But that's the thing. Because he has the fox chakra, he can afford to not ha not control yeah, his shit. Ebisu, but just imagine how... How crazy he could be How if powerful he, he could be if he was better. It. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. It is pretty crazy, though. Ebisu just, like, calls him out for being not human. Kinda and Naruto's up. like really hurts him what what you say to me well he knows he knows he knew but he's episode. just but i i don't think he likes people like putting that against him no that's like the thing that he has been like keeping him up making him different from everybody else and it's what helps him but it's also what you know people have been scrutinizing him for mm -hmm. his entire life the reason he's never been able to live a normal life is because of that so it's kind of fucked up for your new teacher to as a first impression. Your new say, creepy like, teacher. <laughs> yeah, your new pervert teacher who is just super fucking annoying. They'll call you uh, inhuman. Yeah. Yeah, it's kind of shitty. But I guess we'll... Is there anything you, else you want to say for this episode or you just want to move yeah, on? Yeah, just move one? on. Alrighty. Thanks for watching, everybody. Hope you enjoyed this reaction and discussion to Naruto episode 52. Moving right on to next episode to see what happens. Hope you liked the video. Hope you check out our previous reactions. And all the other all the other stuff we got on our channel. Got a lot of good stuff going, so we'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.